The original It movie by Stephen King in 1990 was iconic for what it brought to the table. Audiences again were astounded by the characters in the 2017 remake. Now it's 2019, based 27 years exactly from the last chapter. It's back. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Such a good time with this movie. I can't, I, I can't, I, I can't explain to you how much I enjoyed this movie. By the way, I'm Dave the Bomb from Dave the Confused. I don't know if you recognize me, but you may if you've seen me in a couple other videos on this channel. I'm there. I'm there. But let's just dive into it. Uh, it Chapter Two, 2019, 27 years after It Chapter One. The kids are grown up. Pennywise is back. What do you do? You go back to Derry, that's what you do. Obviously, spoiler alert. Come on, you should know this by now. Spoiler alert! Oh, real quickly, um, I kept calling the actor that played Pennywise in the last video the wrong name. It's Bill Skarsgård. Alexander is his brother. It's Bill. Oh, I'm so bad at YouTube, it's ridiculous. Anywho, so obviously, it Chapter 2 takes place when they are older, grown up, 27 years later, and Pennywise is back, and he's terrorizing Derry again. They did keep a lot of things the same that they did in the 1990 movie, which I did like. There were iconic scenes that they did bring back, like in the Chinese restaurant, um, you know, back down in the sewer. They did bring back that classic vibe from the original but there's so many other good things that they brought to this one that I want to tell you so bad but I don't want to ruin the movie for you I'm gonna talk about little things about the movie that I guess essentially will answer some questions you may have but I don't want to ruin the entire movie for you because I'm so excited for you to see it because it was so good some of the things they did a little different in this one is so the character of Mike stays back, like he did in the original, stays in Derry, becomes a librarian, and studies who Pennywise was, how he came to be, everything like that. Essentially, they take it on a little different pathway, where people have been studying, trying to find out who Pennywise has been for a long, long time. And it actually goes back to, uh, like native tribes and how they were being haunted by him and how they thought they knew how to kill him and and everything like that. So it takes a little bit of a weird turn at that point where it was never touched on like that in the original movie. Um, the other thing that they do is all like five of them have to like split up at one point and collect almost like a souvenir of something that represented them back when they were like a kid in Derry and that aspect I thought was really really cool because it, it shows you little parts of their childhood that weren't shown in the first movie and when I say parts I mean moments and situations between them and Pennywise just like on a single confrontation and some of them like just blow your mind like come out of nowhere so that aspect I really really liked about this movie I will say the cast playing the adult versions of the kids did so well um, with how they kind of like adapted to the already existing character and brought it into like the adult part of their life like the character's life that was so well done I would say especially by Bill Hader, who Richie, the character Richie, plays a decent sized part in the original, but I find in this one plays an even bigger part and is much more revealing to who he is, which I love the changes that they did in this movie than they did the original with the character of Richie. 
I don't want to spoil that because I think that's something really important for the movie. So I suggest when you see it, pay close attention to Richie and you'll see what I'm coming about. Again, throughout the movie, Pennywise is so creepy and you see little hidden things in the background again. Some of them are really prominent and some of them aren't. You really have to kind of like look deep in the background to kind of see it. And that's what's going to be really cool about when they release it on Blu-ray and DVD is that you can take the time and really look into the background of things and see things you didn't see in the first part when you first saw it. Again, Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise in this movie is just like beyond classic, phenomenal, amazing. Like, it's incredible how he does this as this clown. Like, I honestly, I don't know how he does it. It's, it's, it's amazing. The difference is, and I know this is gonna sound really, I don't know, odd, weird maybe. So when I was, when I watched chapter one, my wife was pregnant with my son. I wasn't a dad as of yet. Then chapter two, and I've been a dad for a, a year and a half. And now I'm watching this video of this clown hunting kids. And that was really like, there was a part of that that was really hard for me to do that. And I know it's, I, like, I know it's fake. Obviously, it's a movie. They're not, like, you know, actually have a killer clown in there, right? Um, but some of these scenes are just brutal. Like, I, in this one, they don't hold much back. Like, they, they really go for it when it comes to Pennywise and his hunts and him picking off people and they do not hold back. Um, which, in the movie, like, like for the movie as a whole, is a, is really good. Um, but as to me, as a new parent, I was like, Ugh, oh, I hate that. Like, I just want that little girl to go home. Like, you know what I mean? But that's just a personal thing that in, in my head. Um, but yeah, overall, awesome movie, really good. Uh, I can't recommend it more. Like, if you enjoyed the first one, if you enjoyed the original, you'll love this one. I definitely get, and I don't know if it's just me, but I get like a little bit of like a 90s classic, like gory kind of horror movie film feel to it. And I don't know if that's what they were going for, but that's what I caught from it. Like, it, it wouldn't be something that would like give me nightmares, right? But it was definitely one of those movies where it's like, something's coming and you know what's coming and you're like, oh, So, there it is. It, chapter two, so good. Go see it. Go see it in theaters, it's so good. And of course, it's the end of the video where I put a member of the Confused Army on blast. And this week, the one going on blast is Pet Lover. Because I too am a pet lover, and I appreciate that you've subbed to my channel. So, thank you, Pet Lover. Never change. Always be awesome. Well, that's it. Again, you know, a little quick review of It Chapter 2. Go see it. Thank you so much for subbing. Thank you so much for being here. You know I love you. Uh... Peace out, and at least our dogs aren't werewolves. I hope so.